Hello, in this tutorial series I will show you how to use OpenMRS UI commands for OpenMRS Open Web Apps development. First, we need to meet software requirements such as Java Development Kit 6 or 7, Maven to run OpenMRS locally, NPM to build open web apps, and Yeoman installed globally by NPM. Server creation. To set up our local server, we need to install OpenMRS platform and install Open Web App and REST Web Services modules. To install platform, type Maven OpenMRS SDK Setup Platform, then type your new server ID and platform version, in this case it's 1.11.5. After platform installation, we need to install Open Web App and REST modules on it. To install Open Web App module, type Maven OpenMRS SDK Install. Input OWASP artifact ID, its version, and previously created server's ID. After Open Web Apps module installation, we can install REST module via Maven OpenMRS SDK install. Type web services that as artifact ID, then specify module version and server that we want to install this module on. When module installation is finished, Execute Maven OpenMRS SDK run and add server ID to this command. This will run our created server. When Jetty server starts, navigate your browser to localhost 8080 openmrs and wait until server installation is completed. When installation is finished, server is ready to use. Now we can log in to server by using login and password visible on screen. Project scaffolding. To create new OpenMRS Open Web App project, we need to go to working directory and execute Yoman OpenMRS Open Web Apps generator command. Type your app name and provide some description for it. Choose Angular as library. Choose SDK server type. Type URL address for application start point. Input path of local open web apps directory. Optionally, give information about your GitHub username and repository URL. Yoman has generated all project files according to information we provided. I know it's installing all node modules via npm install command. When module installing is finished, we can deploy our application to our server via npm build deploy command. After successful build, we can see our application on server by typing its URL in browser. Environment setup. In order to set up development environment for IntelliJ IDEA, we need to import our application as project as it's shown on video. Using IntelliJ IDEA for development is recommended since it provides NPM plugin that speeds up development process. Watcher using NPM provides watcher command which can be accessed through console or IntelliJ IDEA plugin. When watcher command is executed, it opens browser with live reload tab which automatically refreshes tab when changes are made. This is extremely useful tool, since we don't have to deploy our application manually with each change in code. Applying Components There are usable components provided by UI Commons library. I will show you how to use some of them. Breadcrumbs are used to make navigation through application easier. To apply breadcrumbs to our project, we have to add root scope to controller's constructor field. Then we need to add links property to root scope. We need to specify label and link for each of breadcrumb. Next we have to add OpenMRS breadcrumb component to main template and give the links attribute value of root links. Now there are breadcrumbs in our application, but they are not working since there are no pages under their links. 
Let's create new page to make them work. Our next page will contain OpenMRS list component, which is used to display OpenMRS data via OpenMRS REST web services. To add list component, create list directory and copy content of home directory into it. Then replace all home words with list words. Insert OpenMRS component into template and give values to its attributes. We will add values to these properties in list controller to define how should list features look. Expose URL for list component inside list.js file. Correct the breadcrumbs to fit our requirements. Create OpenMRS list component properties. Add a link to list component inside home template and fix home's breadcrumbs properties according to application architecture. Lastly, import list component into main module in main.js file. As we can see, list component is working now. We can add some custom list component actions by adding actions property to list controller and passing its value to actions attribute in template. Now it's possible to delete objects. There are more custom actions for OpenMRS list component, like edit, view, or retire. And of course, breadcrumbs are working now. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope it will be useful for you. Good luck!